So this is my story. Like a lot of kids, uh, when I, as I was growing up, my parents, they split up, they got divorced. My dad moved away and I have a family that loves me. My mom, single mom, she raised me, she loves me. My dad, he moved away, but I know my dad loves me. Um, grew up with sisters as the only guy in the house, surrounded by girls. And I really struggled. I had some experiences in my life through my childhood years, through my teenage years. I really struggled with who I was, my identity. I had insecurity and I had this like feeling of rejection and I felt like anything that I do, if I ever let people know who I really am, they're going to reject me. And so I would put on a persona and I would hide behind it. I would project one thing, but inside I knew I was something different. As I grew up, I would, I would struggle with things. I remember um, just uh, the idea of becoming a man. Like, I wanna be a man as I grew up, but I'm surrounded by women. I'm surrounded by my mom, I'm surrounded by my sisters. I know nothing about being a man, and so I would watch how other guys walk. I would watch how other guys talk. I would watch how other guys talk about tools and cars, and I would just mimic them, even though I didn't know anything about it. Uh, because I, I, wanted to, I wanted to be something and I felt like I had to fake it. I couldn't let anybody know who I was. When I was 19 years old, my life changed. I had this moment that changed my life. I was 19 years old, I was going to college. It's the school uh, where I met my wife at and it was late at night. It was probably one or two in the morning. And I was in there, I'd been studying and I'd actually been reading my Bible, never before in my life read my Bible, but I just started reading my Bible. And I felt like Jesus came into the room and started talking to me. Um, for me, this was, this was like one of the most real things that's ever happened to me in my life. It's the middle of the night, my roommate is asleep, and Jesus is in the room and he's talking to me. Now God had been somebody in my life that I was curious about. Like I, I believed in God and I believed that he existed. I believed in Jesus. I was curious about the church. Didn't feel like I belonged in church. I would walk in and I, I didn't know the songs. I, I wasn't familiar with the terminology. Didn't feel like I fit in, but I was interested in it. And here's, here I'm in my dorm room and I feel like Jesus has come in and he asked me this question. He asked me the hardest question anybody's ever asked me in my life. And he says, Kyle, who are you? Who are you? And if anybody else asks me this question, I can just fake it because I, I fake it with every, anybody else, with everybody else. But with Jesus, he's the only person in the entire world that actually knows who I am. Um, he knows the things that I'm insecure about. He knows the things that I struggle with. He knows that I, I'm one thing on the outside, but I'm different on the inside. And he's, he asked this question, who are you? And I remember in that moment, just dropping my head and feeling like, God, because <sighs> he knows. I can't pretend, I can't fake it. And then he asked the question again, and I just sunk. He's like, Kyle, who are you? I'm like, God, you know who I am. And I felt like in that moment, I had experienced so much rejection in my life. I felt like God was going to reject me. That God was like, stop fooling around, stop faking it, stop but I experienced the complete opposite. There, as he was speaking to me, I remember it just feeling like I was nothing, I was low, and like, God, you know who I am, I'm this, I'm nothing. I'm... And in that moment, he, he corrected me, he said, Kyle, that's not who you are, that's never been that person. And he showed me a different view of myself. And I remember him just, just lifting me and just kind of pointing off into beyond and saying, Kyle, I, I don't care if you think you're this person, or I don't care who thinks that you're nothing. Or, I, this is what I think of you. This is who you are. This is who you've always been. And he showed me a different reality. That showed me how much he loves me and accepts me. And, and that moment for me changed my life. I, I know uh, for, I believe this for everybody, the moment that you encounter the real Jesus, um, not not uh, a fake version of Jesus, but the moment you encounter the real Jesus who sees you, who knows you, who cares about you, and you experience that, it changes your life. And 
and you'll, you'll be shocked at how loving and accepting God is of you. Um, you'll be shocked in what God sees in you that you can never see in yourself without Him. And I, I do feel like when, when you experience Him, when you experience Him for the first time, you recognize like, my whole life, I, I haven't quite fit, but I fit here. Like I'm at home with Jesus.